Hey guys, it's Lauren. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing my top baby Amazon finds and I've basically been buying everything for baby off Amazon. You can find anything on Amazon. We just got Prime like at the beginning of the year so I've been taking full advantage of that and I found some really great stuff I think and I've been getting a lot of questions on Instagram from you guys to link everything that I purchased. So I thought it'd be fun to do like a little roundup video and I'll link everything in the description below so feel free to subscribe, give this video a uh, bell ring a bell whatever it's called and you guys can also follow me on instagram at lauren eva sheriff that's where i post mainly but let's just jump right into it with my amazon finds my baby is due at the end of august it's a baby girl so i haven't used any of this stuff i have based my purchases on reviews but i'm going to do a follow up video when i have her and let you know what was a hit what was a miss but in the meantime i'm just going to share what i got and yeah let's go from there so firstly i don't know if this is going to fit all in frame but if you are a pregnant mama, you need this. This is the best thing ever. It's a pregnancy pillow. This one's from Amazon and I got it actually at the beginning of my second trimester. I'm just gonna put a picture, it's way too big to hold. Um, it's a lifesaver. It is so comfortable. I love cuddling with it. It makes sleeping so much easier, especially once you get into like the end of second trimester beginning of third trimester and I'm sure by the end of third trimester it's still gonna be a lifesaver. If you haven't gotten a pregnancy pillow you definitely are missing out. I'm gonna like this one. There's a few different ones. This one's like the C but they have the U. I've heard great things about that but this one I'll link. Second thing I'm gonna share, it's not gonna be in any particular order because I just have it all lying here so I'm just gonna like pull out whatever is next. I'll try to go based on popularity on Instagram. This was a huge hit on Instagram and I hope by the time this video is up this is back in stock but this seagrass caddy i'm using it as a diaper caddy it was so popular that you guys were like you need to find a replacement or something similar which i have found so if this isn't back in stock on amazon i will place the replacement this is actually not a diaper caddy though it's for utensils so i kind of lucked out but it fits perfectly in my nursery if you're wondering what my nursery looks like i'll put a link to my blog post or you can check it out on instagram so you'll see the vibe you can see the rainbows but to see the full thing but everything in this basket is from Amazon. So I got this cute little brush set. I don't have the whole set actually in the basket, but I'll put a picture of it and link it. It basically comes with these beautiful wood brushes, a cradle cap one, a comb, like a bristle brush, which is super soft. I used to not have it out because I didn't want dust collecting and this has been sitting on top of my hems. Uh, next are these bamboo baby washcloths and they are incredibly soft. I am so obsessed with anything bamboo. I'm just a huge fan. It's antibacterial. The materials are so soft and this I would highly recommend. It's just a basic washcloth. It came in like a huge pack of like 10 or something and I can't remember how much it was but it was really affordable. And then beside that is these muslin cloths and this came in a huge pack. I think this is a pack of 10 and I'll show you like the size because it can be used for so many things. It can be used for like wiping the baby as a burp cloth just like anything it's just uh, oh a washcloth too and I heard they wash really well so they come in this huge pack they come in yellow pink blue white I just put the yellow and the white out because it matches my decor because obviously that's important <laughs> for like just cheap cloths like affordable cloths but are good materials like bamboo and muslin Amazon has so many so you don't have to go for that cheap cotton stuff which I personally hate. Next are all my Burt's Bees stuff. So I've been looking for a natural stuff for baby girl. And like I said, I haven't used it. So this may not work for her when she's actually here, but I'll share anyways. All these got really great reviews. The diaper rash ointment, the baby oil, although I heard it has a weird smell, but we'll see. And then the multi-purpose ointment. So I'm excited to give this a go. We'll see how she likes it. Like I said, I'll do a follow-up video anyways. Next thing I got from Amazon, which was super popular on my Instagram, was Miss Fong's diaper bag. Comes in a few different colors. I got it in the brown. Um, it's amazing. I think it's so chic and stylish. I think it was $60 plus like a $6 coupon off. Uh, and there's so much space inside. So much space. It also comes with a diaper changing pad, has a thermal cup holder, and then I also filled it with a few things. This diaper genie, and then I have <laughs> this little wiper thing. Wipes for the wipes. For the wipes. This is for the wipes. And I got some more diaper ash cream. So there's so much space. I don't know if you guys can see. Um, I do have an Instagram story of it, so if that's still available, I'll share that with you guys on this video. You can actually wear it across your shoulders because this one's a convertible one, so you can do 
across your shoulders and you can do backpack and it fits on the stroller so super convenient comes in a bunch of colors under 100 really great quality great reviews super excited to use this next i got a lot of questions about these little velvet baby hangers and what i like about these are how customizable they are you can pick silver or gold for the little hook and it comes like white velvet, black velvet, pink, I think, blue, gray, tons of colors. I just got the cream and I have a few clothes hanging on these and they just, they're great because nothing slips off of it. So I'll link these below. Talking about laundry or this is not just for laundry, but I thought this was really cute is this little canvas tote. It actually comes with the bear with its face smiling and then there's one with the bear sleeping and I'm actually just going to use this as her like laundry tote if you will and then when she's older probably for toys I just thought it was just an easy way to take the laundry down the basement since baby clothes are so tiny and I hate carrying baskets down I actually have like a tote for our adult clothes as well yeah it's super cute what is just such a random find I wasn't looking for it but I came across it so I thought I would share it and I actually have it hanging in her room and it looks really cute like that so aesthetically it's very pleasing and very functional so super super good that it works both ways okay so next sorry if this is all over the place like I said it's just random are these cushies organic cot sheets or bassinet sheets so I really wanted to just get organic sheets but organic can be really expensive sometimes but I just I just I don't know it makes me feel better to have organic sheets and as much organic clothing as weird as that sounds or wild or whatever so I got these I actually got four of them from Amazon I think they're under 20 but they're really affordable it's an off-white they come in different colors and they come in this little pouch um, I've heard pretty good things about it so I'll see I actually got um, the Burt's Bees crib sheets I'll link those too but it's on the actual mattress so I won't take it off but I'll link it if you're looking for really cute hooded towels but don't want to spend like $50 because they're kind of expensive. I found a really good alternative. This is actually bamboo. It's a bamboo hooded towel and how cute is it? I think it was like $29 and I've been looking at a lot of hooded towels and there's a lot from like $50 to $70 and they're cute but like I mean I don't know. For $29 bamboo, super soft, gender neutral. And obviously when she gets older, she can still use it if it's, we'll see how it, I guess it actually washes. I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see this, but I bought a huge pack of these little tiny baby socks for baby girl. And what I liked about them was one, they had really good reviews on Amazon and they have this like cushion on the ankle, which I thought was nice because obviously babies are always like lying down. I like like cutesy socks, but I also know that like practical socks are going to be really important. And I hate when like things don't match, <laughs> like the onesie doesn't match the socks. I wanted just to get basic white socks and these are highly rated on uh, Amazon. So hopefully I love them, but I do like how there's like, you probably can't see it's so small, but there's like a cushion at the back. So when baby's lying, I just feel like it's extra cushioned. It has grips, not that that's important right now. Um, and yeah, I just have heard really great things. So if you're just looking for a big pack of white socks too, I got you covered. And then I also bought her cutesy socks, not from Amazon, but just to clarify, she just has some casual and cutesy socks, but mainly casual. Next is the Dream Egg, and this took me a while to find because I was so gung-ho on getting the hatch. I was like, the hatch has so many great reviews, and I love how it's on your phone. But then I realized in the middle of the night, the last thing I want to do when I'm like trying to like put the light on or change a noise is go on my phone. And I read a lot of reviews like with the hatch, you have to always have your phone connected, but I don't like to like go on my phone in the middle of the night. So I thought this was the better option and this was highly reviewed. It comes in black too, I think. It comes in a few colors, I think, but it has tons of noises. I've actually heard that some people like the Dream Egg better than the Hatch because it's portable, has more noises. It's like you don't need your phone unless you really want to have your phone. But for me, I don't. Um, and I went through the noises already and there's like a ton of like white noises and nature noises. So I'm really excited to try this. I also have some fan noises too. So if your baby likes a fan noise, I saw some babies did. So a lot of mothers were really happy that this had a fan noise. So yeah, the dream egg. So I'm hoping this will help baby calm down and sleep at night. So we'll see. I literally just got delivered to my door like 20 minutes ago. Um, are these California taught bunny rabbit bows? And I've been like contemplating whether I wanted tiny little bows or like the big ones for her but I saw these and like the color scheme is perfect a lot of neutrals and then there's more colors you can choose from this pack of four was under twenty dollars and it's I mean it's such a steal in my opinion they're really cute they come in different styles different colors so if you're having a baby girl and you're into the bow thing definitely check out 
these. It's from a brand called California Ta, actually, which I haven't checked out yet on Instagram, but I'm definitely going to check out. But it's so convenient that they're on Amazon. I love when you find like brands like this on Amazon, and it's so cute. So can't wait to put this on her. Almost to the end of this video, and I've heard mixed reviews on this now that I've purchased it, but I'm going to share it anyways. This is the Ubi Diaper Pail, and I personally purchased it based on reviews. I was going to get the Diaper Genie, but I heard like the replacements is kind of a pain and it wasn't that great. I don't have to buy replacements. I wanted to put my own garbage bags on it. Uh, but then I heard some reviews that it kind of still smells and if you have wood floors and you're opening it, like it moves. But I have a carpet and my whole floors are carpeted, so I'm not really worried about that. Um, I mean, I think it's really nice looking for a garbage pail. And I hope it does the job. I don't know. It's kind of a weird thing to review without using it, I guess. But I wanted to share everything. And there's a lot of people who reviewed it who have used it. So I'm going to base it on that. But like I said, once I use it, I will do a follow-up update and share with you guys what worked and what didn't. But this is pretty affordable. I think it's under 100. Some of them are, or was it over? Honestly, I can't remember. But they come in a bunch of different colors. So I just got white to match the nursery. But there's like pink and blue and like mint. So... Lots of colors to choose from and definitely worth a check out if you're in the market for a diaper pail. Next, I think I said I was almost done, that was second last, but that wasn't. Next is another Ubi product. It's just like the perfect wipe dispenser and I personally already hate trying to pull baby wipes out and like you get like you can hardly get it so I heard this really helps just keep them like moist for one and then, sorry, I know a lot of you guys don't like the word moist. I don't have a problem with it to be honest. It helps keep them damp or whatever, wet if you will. It helps you get the perfect pull. It has like a weighted plate I guess that you put on top and I actually got these from Amazon too so I guess I'll show you. I wasn't planning to but water wipes. I've heard great things about water wipes so we'll see if I actually enjoy them but I just have them in there for now and yeah just a little, not necessary but if you just want to make sure your wipes stay wet, <laughs> um, then yeah, this may be a good product for you. Last but not least, the Nanit. So I've been going back and forth between Owlet Nanit, Owlet Nanit, and after talking to a lot of my followers on DMs and doing my own research and reviews, I landed on the Nanit. So I bought the full pack, but um, I'm not going to put that all here. I'll put a picture. Um, but it comes with this, the wool mount. This is the multi-purpose mount. It comes with the swaddle, the Nanit swaddle, the Nanit breathing band. Yeah, I'm really excited to use this. I actually ended up going with this over the outlet because I like how, I know the outlet has a camera now, but I just like how, I like how this swaddle is like a zip up swaddle and then you have a breathing band. It just felt more convenient and easy to use. And I just, that just really was what it was for me. I know the outlet was on the foot. The swaddle and a breathing band was just so much easier and the program itself like the app that you download just seemed to have more insights so that is why I chose the Nana and you can prime it I bought it and it came the next day so that's why I'm putting in this video but I know they always have like 15% off on their website so if you're if it's a price thing it is the same price on Amazon but I know they do have sales on the actual website but if you're trying to get it quickly then you can get it on Amazon Prime. Okay so I hope you guys enjoyed my Amazon baby find video um, there's a few things I didn't include in this video, uh, like a few hooks and just like random decorative things, but if you follow me on Instagram, you can send me a DM if you see something or I always swipe up to everything that I've purchased, even if it's not in this video. And I'm just excited to actually use these when baby girl arrives. She'll be here at the end of August. And then I'll do a nice little follow-up video. I'll just do like hit or miss video and we'll go from there. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys later.